Homelands. The Native Land Act No. 27 of 1913 shaped the land policies in South Africa. It transformed the black reserves throughout the country. These reserves were called homelands, one of which was Siskai. There were 10 homelands distributed all over South Africa. The Siskai and Transkai were located in the Eastern Cape Province, which was the only homeland in the Cape Province at the time. The boundary of Siskai changed many times between 1913 and 1994. The apartheid land legislations affected the Siskai boundary during this period. The Native Land Act No. 27 of 1913 defined the so-called scheduled areas to be the homelands. The Development Trust and Land Act No. 18 of 1936 added more areas to Siskai. These were called released areas. The representation between the Republic of South Africa and Self-Governing Territories Proclamation No. 46 of 1959 added more areas. At the end of 1975, both Herschel and Glen Grey districts, which had formerly formed part of Siskai, were incorporated into Transkai as a result of the final consolidation plans between 1973 and 1975. The people who lived in these two districts moved to Siskai because they wanted to keep their South African citizenship, but unfortunately they lost it after the Siskai was declared independent by South Africa in 1981. The Republic of Siskai was recognized only by South Africa and other homelands. The president of the Republic of Siskai was Lennox Sebe, who ruled between 1981 and 1990. In 1990, Brigadier Opa Koso deposed Lennox Sebe in a coup and ruled Siskai till 1994. Siskai was reincorporated into South Africa on the 27th of April 1994. The boundary of Siskai falls into three current district municipalities, Krishani, Amatole and Buffalo City. Even though Siskai does not exist today, its legacy can be seen in the pattern of the current residential areas. We need to look at the past to understand the present and to make better plans for the future of South Africa.